in this question we are asked that two swimmers leave point a on one bank of river let's say we have a river like this the width of river is let's say some b so both the swimmers leave the river from this point a to reach this opposite point b flying across on the other bank one of them crosses the river along the straight line ab one moves along this line ab while the other swims at right angle while the other swimmer swims at right angle other swimmer shown in this red line swims in this direction that is his velocity is in direction but due to river due to river he is moved in forward direction and finally he will re be reaching somewhat in this direction so probably at this point b dash <coughs> so one of them crosses the river along the straight line ab while the other swims at right angle to the stream stream is in direction so he moves right angle to the stream and then walks that he has been walks the distance that he has been carried away by the stream to get to point b now he walks on this path with some speed vw to reach this point b again what was the velocity u of his walking that is uh, this is they are saying u we have to find this velocity of his walking so that both reaches the same time t for reaching this swimmer one reaches at this point b at time t and this swimmer other swimmer which is reaching at this point b dash also reaches at the same point that is t Uh, they are. It is said that uh, the stream velocity, which is the river velocity, we say, is 2.0 kilometer per hour, <coughs> and the velocity v dash of each swimmer with respect to water, velocity of uh, swimmer with respect to water, let it be uh, v s, is equal to 2.5 kilometer per hour. So we have to find the speed of his walking so that both reaches at same point to this point. B same time uh, both reaches in same time to this point B okay so let us analyze both the persons separately so let us uh, analyze the situation for um, first person A first person right for so first person we are analyzing the situation. He start from this point A, reaches to this point B. He must have moved in this direction, but a river must have uh, adapted him in this direction. So we all know that this angle at which the drift is zero is uh, sine theta is equal to uh, V R upon V B R. Or in this case, this is velocity of swimmer with respect to water or with respect to River. Let it. Uh, let us write it as with respect to river. This is also velocity of swimmer with respect to river. So this is two, I think, and this is two point five. So <coughs> two by five by two. So it becomes four by five. If sine theta is equal to four by five, then the angle becomes theta is equal to. 53 degree. Okay, so this person is moving at this angle 53 degree. So time taken by first person is time taken by first person is d by his speed uh, in this direction was velocity of uh, swimmer with respect to river was 2.5. So what we we'll do is 2.5 into Cos 53. Cos 53. Sine 53 was 4 by 5. Cos 53 will be 3 by 5. So like this, the time that we get is 2 d by 3. Okay. So this is the uh, time taken by the first swimmer or the first person. Similarly, if we analyze 
the case for second person we can easily see that let's say this is the river in this case <coughs> same with the in this case the person moved with his own velocity vsr that is 2.5 in this direction so time that he takes total is divided in two parts that is time that he spent in river plus time that he spent along bank okay so <clears throat> time that he spent in river can easily be found as a uh, d distance he moved with speed 2.5 plus uh, he got drifted to this point we have to find the drift and on this drift or in this drifted part he moved with some velocity u which we have to find to equate the time so to find the time taken by him along bank we have to find the drift and this drift was covered with speed u so this total time taken by the second person second person is equal to the time taken by this first person so i have to just find the drift now if we know the formula for drift then the formula for drift is x is equal to uh, in this case the drift is quite easy the drift has been caused because of the velocity of river velocity of river okay so velocity of uh, river in this case is given to us as 2.0 km per hour so velocity of river into the time taken by the person to cross the river is d by 2.5 this is the time taken by the person to cross the river so we are so time total by second person is d by 2.5 plus x which is d into d into 2.5 by 2.0 uh, into 2 sorry into 2 by 2.5 u right this 2 is vr that we have to use in this quantity x which is uh, which is drift okay so t time taken by first person is equal to time taken by second person so time taken by second person is already known to us d by 2.5 plus 2d by 2.5 u <coughs> and uh, 2d by 3 was that time taken by first person. We have to just uh, cancel d. This becomes 2 by 3 is equal to 1 by 2.5 can be written as 2 by 5 plus 2 times 2 by 5 and u. So Here now we have to solve this by taking uh, by cross multiplying the things. Two by three is equal to. Let us take two by five common. Two gets cancelled with this. Two by five common. One plus two by u. So it is one by three, or you can write it as five by three is equal to uh, u plus two by u. So it is. 5u is equal to 3u plus 6. So 2u is equal to 6 implies u is equal to 3 kilometer per hour. So this is the final velocity. U is equal to 3 kilometer per hour. This is the velocity needed by man to reach the opposite bank. <coughs>